You're seeing two people interacting. They're moving together on a sheet of paper using differently colored pens. They will be analyzing this interaction through modalities of sensing, feeling and thinking and paying attention in turn to themselves and the other person. There's also an observer who will analyze what happens between them. We invited people to take part in a workshop experiment and use PRISMA, a research method for systematically unfolding the experience of interacting. So they can gain insight into processes of participatory sense-making. People are defining what, what social inclusion means and so on. But the one thing that falls between the cracks of that often, I think, is what happens in actual interactions when people have to sit around a table and work together. And so there are lots of people who have interactive ex um, expertise, which scientists aren't connecting with always. So scientists think we are the experts in our academic ivory tower somewhere. And after coming out of this workshop, using the personal methodology, I hope participants come away with some inkling of an increased sensitivity to how they participate in interactions and how the people that they interact with also participate and how something emerges between them that they can relate to and modulate. Yeah, so I think what is uh, quite uh appealing to me in this, uh, in this process is the, the simplicity of these interactions that they've been exploring, um, that contrast with like, the kind of complex issues that we work on. But I, I think on the other hand that working at this level already reveals a lot of depth and complexity that is really worth investigating. There's different aspects of the interaction that we're looking at in each round um, and so one is sense modality one is feeling and one is thinking the feeling is a little challenging because I, I do feel that like maybe I'm just projecting or maybe I'm trying to have a theory of mind about these two individuals who are interacting and I don't want to assume too much um, and it seems that there often is a disconnect between how the observer interprets the interaction and how the, the two people in the interaction interpret it themselves. The methodology of PRISMA is a really good um, way to study complexity in human beings who I think are experts at interacting with complex systems. Then we have experience interacting with each other and with the world and with the with, with the climate, with all, you know, with social organizations, we take part in them, we take part in interactions with each other. And so we have a skill and a capacity at interacting with complexity and complex systems as living human beings. Um, and this method allows us to go into that and analyze it while we do it, while we interact with each other, um, which and the experience of it is often, I think, left out otherwise. And this method particularly goes into that. Yeah, I think the, the feedback was really amazing um, and unexpected. Uh, I think the feedback was on levels and it went into places where we didn't maybe intend the workshop to go to. And I think this is a really great sort of method, research method, for uh, exploring um, the degrees to which we can make meaning uh, together uh, and find out what are the limits of intersubjectivity um, that maybe don't put us in a kind of either or place between a total uh, naive kind of realism, the idea that there is one world that we all experience, and also a kind of paralyzing skepticism about our abilities to to share uh, to share a perceptual world. Well, yeah, actually, there were some things surprising, um, and it had to do with the sensation of the pens and how they influence the whole experience. That was huge, uh, and I didn't think about that. The first pens were just uh, ink pens. The second were like. Um, this oily, soft thing that just allowed for a lot of flowiness and play. And then when that play had to be um, reproduced with 
a different kind with these, with, with the pencils, it was really hard. So the sensation, the mere sense, like just the sensation of, of, of the tool that you're using had a huge influence on the feeling and the thought of it. And so it's funny that something outside of our control, the circumstances of the different colors of pins affected how we interacted with one another. Um, and oftentimes that might be interpreted as representative of our feelings towards each other when really it was this external circumstance. I think letting things be, letting people be, letting processes be while not leaving them, while still participating, which is a really hard paradoxical practice, um, but I think one of the most ethical and needed ones. Yeah, it, it is tr trying to put a different method into science that can um, bring people's attention to something that's more human than we are used to in science, and apparently that worked. So I think that, yeah, that was nice. <laughs>